How to find the quadratic nth term of a sequence in 166 seconds. Let's go. This one's going to be pretty heavy, guys. Don't say I didn't warn you. What are we going to do? How do we find the quadratic nth term of the sequence 3, 5, 9, 15, 23? Step number one, we're going to find our first difference and our second difference. Let's get it done. So from 3 to 5, what do we do? We plus 2. From 5 to 9, plus 4. From 9 to 15, plus 6. And from 15 to 23, we're going to plus 8. Now to find our second difference, our difference of our our differences from two to four we plus two from four to six we plus two and from six to eight we plus two now guys we have enough information to find the first term of our quadratic nth term what's it going to be well we're going to halve our second difference half of two is one and that's going to give us the coefficient of n squared so the first term in our quadratic nth term is going to be one n squared now this part's going to be tricky so pay close attention what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite our term numbers one two, three, four, and five. That's because we have five terms up here in our sequence, and then we're going to rewrite our original sequence. So our original sequence, that was three, five, nine, 15, 23. Next step, guys, we're going to subtract the first term in our quadratic nth term from our original sequence. Now, remember, this n represents our term number. So if we're going to subtract 1n squared, we're going to subtract 1 times by our term number squared. So let's calculate what that's going to be, 1 times by each of our term numbers. For our first term, that's going to be 1. For our second term, it's going to be 4. For our third term, it's going to be 9. For our fourth term, it's going to be 16. And for our fifth term, it's going to be 25. Now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract this from our original sequence. What is that going to give us? 3 take 1, that's going to be 2. 5 take 4, that's going to be 1. 1, 9 take 9 is going to be 0, 15 take 16, that's going to be minus 1, and 23 take 25, that, guys, is going to be minus 2. Now, our final step is going to be to find the nth term of this new sequence and tag that onto our 1 n squared. What's it going to be? So, finding our nth term of this linear sequence, we're going to find our common difference from 2 to 1. We minus 1, 1 to 0, minus 1, 0 to minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1 to minus 2, we minus 1. That's going to tell us that the first part of our nth term there is going to be minus 1 n, then how do we get from our minus one, which is the number next to our n, our common difference, to our first term, our two from minus one to two, we add three. So that is gonna give us the last part of our nth term, guys. So now we can combine all of our components. We can combine our one n squared, with our minus one n plus three, and we're going to get, guys, our final answer for our quadratic nth term as one n squared minus one n plus three. Watch that one again, guys. I know it was very quick.